Well, hello and thank you for joining me for another Alex on Tech and TechAdvice.life video interview. I'm joined today by Sean McLagan. He is the Group Vice President and General Manager for Asia Pacific and Japan at DocuSign, here to talk about WhatsApp delivery. Welcome to the program. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. Thank you for taking the time. Now, with a name like WhatsApp delivery, people might immediately think this is a new alternative to Uber Eats. But given DocuSign is involved, it sounds like it's something that businesses will want to add to the menu or rather their business toolkits. So what is WhatsApp delivery and how is DocuSign involved? I don't know. You might be onto something new for us in the, in the food delivery space. No, Alex, really it is. It's just our new announcement we've got this week, allowing us to really connect with our users no matter where they are. We're adding WhatsApp as a delivery mechanism on top of the SMS that we've already been doing for a while. You know, I think this is really just making it much more a smarter, easier, more trusted way to do business. So pretty excited about the opportunity, especially in the Australia, Asia Pacific region where WhatsApp is so prevalent. Now, you've shared some stats about why this is faster and better than email, which, of course, as we know, is the traditional way that DocuSign uh, users receive DocuSignable documents. And as you just mentioned, it's complementary to the SMS delivery that you introduced this year. So what are some of those stats around why WhatsApp is just so much faster? Now, I think this, what I've read is 85% of users prefer messaging to email. Uh, I was having a look at my phone. I've got 2,300 unread emails and only two unread WhatsApp. So they must have just arrived recently. Um, you know, I, I think it's a method where businesses are on board using WhatsApp as a communication tool. It's much easier. And I think the ability to connect quickly is so important, especially when we're thinking about speed of contract. So uh, I think it's a method that will really take off. And so what are some of the other benefits of WhatsApp delivery that you can share? You know, I think there's now globally 2 billion users using WhatsApp in Australia market. That's 12 million. So almost half of us use it in, in the region. Definitely from a speed point of view, we see it seven times faster to respond. So faster to revenue if we're looking at this from a contracting point of view. And how quickly and easily can it be added to a company's existing workflows? It's really easy, Alex. What it is, is basically just a chick checkbox, adding it into our workflow delivery. Using the API, we can create that envelope, send it, but choose whether it's SMS or WhatsApp delivery or a traditional email method. So usually from DocuSign, very easy to integrate into what we're already doing. So that's a good news for our customers. Absolutely. Now, in your briefing materials, Mexican Taquiera or the Mexican Kitchen, Guzman y Gomez in Singapore is listed as a case study already enjoying the benefits. So what can you tell us about them and about the other customers already using the system? Yeah, great reference for us up in Singapore. I lived there for a long time and I was a customer, so I'm glad we're, uh, <laughs> we're looking after both sides of this one. Uh, my favorite quote was, now they can send out contracts as fast as they can roll a burrito. So it started off as an HR use case. Obviously, they're onboarding lots of new staff into this. They continue to expand in the region, but also looking at it from logistics and supplier management. So uh, really great engagement we've got up there with them, um, showing that, all, honestly, that this opportunity is for all areas of business. It's not just banking, finance, or health, or, or government areas. We're talking fast food, retail. So really applicable no matter what business or what line of business organizations are in. So great relationship we've got with, with Guzman and Gumez, and uh, I really enjoy working with them. And that quote still uh, still sticks to me around. They can do it faster than they can roll a burrito funny. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before I ask you some closing questions, what else do we need to know about WhatsApp delivery and DocuSign that we haven't already discussed? I think it's, you know, the, the key, honestly, Alex, is it's it's how are we looking at our opportunity to connect our users with our customer base? You know, I think when we started out with an email delivery, it, it sped up our processes. I haven't met a customer yet or or, or an organization who's, who's not looking for an ability to just go faster. Uh, when we think about printing, signing, faxing, scanning, that that's that's gone. Right? And then we looked at that email, to, uh, what, WhatsApp and SMS delivery. It's just about us connecting more quickly allowing organizations to focus on core business. So I think you continue to see more and more innovation from DocuSign. We're the first in market to be able to do SMS and WhatsApp delivery. So exciting times. Now, generative AI has been the big craze over the past year with ChatGPT now a year old in the public consciousness, even though the company's been around for years longer. So are you able to share any of the ways that AI is shaping DocuSign's future or is it too early to share anything yet? Well, we've been engaging with AI since since around 2020 when we started looking at intelligent analytics and contracts and insights. But I think now where we're looking at is, is what can AI do in forms of summarization or clause creation? 
I was looking with an organization, thinking about the opportunity of of retail and thinking about rental agreements. And I've just moved back to Australia the last six months. I've been through the rental challenges and an innate amount of paperwork. But my favorite was, you know, traveling, getting a rental agreement on my phone, allowing AI to look at the clauses, make recommendations, summarize for me, and even suggest if there's changes that could be made, send that back, get a return, sign that, all within sitting in an airport lounge in about 15 minutes. So I think the opportunity for us is, is big. And really, if I think about it, it's us enhancing our customer experience. So I think you're gonna, you've are gonna you seen some big things for us. It's not, you know, we're not late to that party, but I think the opportunity ahead for us is, is really exciting. Anything else you can share about how DocuSign uh, is expected to evolve over the next couple of years? Yeah, I think we've seen announcements around what we're doing in AI labs. Our integrations with our ISV communities continues to grow. So lots and lots of effort and work. I think the, the real interesting part is we think about DocuSign, a lot of people think really about that signature piece. But the, the organizations we work with are asking, you know, how do you help us up to that signature around doc gen? And then once it's signed, what's the opportunity to store, run analytics, analyze what we've got and use that AI post sign? So exciting things ahead. And I think the opportunity for, for us in the region is very, very strong. Now, before we close, I always like to ask a couple of questions just to learn a little bit more about you as a person rather than uh, DocuSign and the products. And so the first question is to ask if you could please share a memory of your first personal computer. First computer, okay. Uh, it's probably just showing my age a little bit, Alex. Uh, it was the Apple two LC2. I think it was one of the first color Apple uh, Apple Macs. Uh, not even the old form factor. It was the, the two sides. So I had that around university time. So probably around 92, I would think, right around that time. So i uh, always been an Apple fan, Mac fan. I probably should have got in on the shares back then as opposed to waiting for these days. But um, yeah, good computer. Love that tech. Uh, still using today. Yeah, I am um, betraying my age when I say that I remember using an Apple IIc, which was sort of like a, a portable version of Apple's computer. It was sort of half portable and, and it half wasn't. Well before the Apple L Mac LC2, which was a uh, color, <laughs> as you were describing. And yes, I should have bought shares as well. Unfortunately, we we're all wise after the fact on that one. Now, my, uh, my second last question is to ask if you could please share some of the best advice that you've received in life to help you get where you are today. Yeah, okay. Um, actually, I, I did a mentoring session yesterday with a, with a younger group here at DocuSide, and they asked me something similar. So I, I'm ready to go with this one. And my answer to them was, be you. I always think about the fact if you're, if you're leading teams, you're growing businesses, they're, they're looking to invest in you. So not trying to be someone else. I, I think in my career, I've always tried to look at the best parts of people I've worked with, learn from them, always try to learn. But at the end of the day, I, I try to be me, try to deliver an authentic version of me, I, I'm, I'm very open, transparent, like to chat to the teams. But I think if I had to summarize is, is be you and, and back yourself. That's the, those are the things I always continue to think about. Great advice. So what is your final message to the viewers and the readers and to your current and future customers and partners? Yeah, I think that my, my message is, you know, DocuSign as a global company has 1.4 million customers and 1.4 billion users in over 180 countries. We continue to evolve our, our technology delivery I think my opportunity is really to dig deep into that agreement workflow, understand what organizations are trying to do, and really think about how much faster we can make connections with your users, your customer base, and constituents. It's an exciting time for us at DocuSign. I'm excited to run the H Pacific and Japan region and move back to Australia to engage with our customers and partners here. Well, Sean McLagan, the Group Vice President and General Manager of Asia Pacific and Japan at DocuSign, thank you very much for taking the time to explain WhatsApp delivery to us and to share a bit of what's new at DocuSign. And I wish you the best of success and I hope we can talk again in the future. Alex, nice to chat. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.